Hello everyone. Let's solve some more problems. In the last video, I have solved 9 problems. So next problem is 10. So what's the question? The triangle has perimeter of 114 centimeters. Triangle has perimeter of 100 and 114 centimeters. Side X is 6 centimeters shorter than twice side Y. Side X is 6 centimeters shorter than twice side Y. It's 2 times side Y. And side Y is 8 centimeters longer than side Z. Side Y is 8 centimeters longer than side Z. How many centimeters long is side Z? So we have to find side Z. Perimeter of the triangle is given. Let's draw a triangle just for your reference. Let's take this as side X. This as side Y. Side Z. Or Z. What is given? Side X is 6 cm shorter than twice side Y. Twice side Y means 2 times Y. 6 cm shorter than twice side Y. X is 6 cm shorter than twice side Y. 2 times side Y. Side Y is 8 cm longer than side Z. Side Y is 8 cm longer than side Z. That means Y is Z plus 8. So we have side X, side Y and side Z. Now perimeter is given. Perimeter of the triangle is 114 centimeters. What is the formula for perimeter of a triangle? Perimeter is side X plus side Y plus side Z. What is side X? Side X is 2Y minus X. What is side y? Side y is z plus 8. Keep z as it is. So we ha you have to find how long is side z. So here there are two variables. So we need to find side z. So this is 114. Perimeter is given 114. 2y. There are two variables in this equation. y and z. To find z, we have to convert this y. In, we have to write this y in terms of z. So y in, ter, in terms of z means we can take y as z plus 8. 2 times z plus 8. 8 minus 6 plus z plus 8 plus z. Now we have in this equation only one variable z. Because we have to find the value of z. So we need only one variable z in our equation. Let's simplify the equation. 114 is equal to this you have to multiply 2 times z sign is plus 2 times 8 you have to multiply 2 for both 2 times 8 is 16 minus 6 plus z plus 8 plus z 
So how many how many z we have in this equation? Two z plus three z plus four z. Plus, what is 16 minus 6? Six, 6. 16 minus 6 is 10. 10 plus 8. 16 minus 6 is 10. Plus 8. 114 is equal to 4z plus 18. Now, Take this 18 to the left hand side. So this sign changes this. Here addition sign becomes here subtraction. So you have to subtract. It is 4z is equal to 4z is equal to 114. Here addition sign becomes subtraction. Here plus 18 becomes minus 8. What is 4z? 96. 114 minus 18? 96. 4z is equal to 24. So we have got 24. That is option A. Question number 11. The late fee for an overdue library book at the Toronto Public Library is $2.5 for the first two days and $5 for the remaining days that book is overdue. If Gabrielle has a book that is 7 days overdue, how much does she owe the library? Try to understand the question. The late fee for an overdue library book at the Toronto Public Library is $2.50. Late fee for the overdue. That means if you are not returning the book in time, the late fee is $2.50. $2.5 for the first two days. $2.5 for the first two days. For the first two days, you have to pay how many dollars? 2.5 dollars. And 5 dollars for the remaining days. Remaining days you have to pay 5 dollars each. Whatever the time you have taken to return. So, Gabriel has a book that is 7 days overdue. Gabriel has book that is 7 days overdue. 7 days. We have to find how much does she owe the library. That is how much late fees she has to pay. 7 days. So, for first 2 days... She has to pay $2.5. Remaining days are 5. For the first 2 days, she has to pay $5. How many days remain? How many days are remaining? 5 days. So, she has to pay $5. For the remaining days, she has to pay $5. 5 times 5. 2 times 2.5 is 5 plus and 5 times 5 is 25. So, Gabriel has to pay 25 plus 5 that is 30 dollars. So, answer is D. Next question. What is the average of 25 minus 5 minus 10 minus 10, 50? Average. Average means 
sum of all the given numbers that is 25 plus minus 5 plus minus 10 plus minus 10 the last number plus 50 divided by total numbers how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 total 5 numbers are given sum of all the numbers divided by total number gives you average 25 minus 5 plus minus minus there is positive negative is negative again positive negative is negative 10 again positive negative is negative 10 plus 50 divided by 5 25 minus 5 is 20 20 minus 10 10 10 minus 10 0 so what is left 50 50 divided by 5 so answer is 5 times 10 50 is 5 times 10 so average of all these numbers is 10 so answer is C fill up C Question number 13, 1 divided by 5, so there is a space in between two numbers, that is 1 divided by 5 and 1 divided by 10 and there is a space in between these two numbers is equal to x. The value of x will be greatest when which of the following operations is used in the space above so so we have to use these operations in this space given so let's find 1 divided by 5 so fraction 1 divided by 5 is nothing but 0 0.2 1 divided by 10 is nothing but 0 0.1 so in the space given if you put multiplication what happens you can use calculator here 0 0.2 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.02 so let's go to another operation 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2 let's put subtraction 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1 subtract answer is 0 0.1 still we don't know which operation gives us greatest value next go to addition that is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 so we have what 0 0.3 let's divide the next operation is division 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.1 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.1 you will get 2 so now you can find which is the greatest number 2 so value of x will be greatest when when we use division so answer is D question number 14 a rectangular box of tennis ball is packed tightly in the following diagram this is a diagram a rectangular box of tennis ball is packed tightly in this diagram if the radius of each tennis ball is 5 cm what are the dimensions of the rectangular box you have to find 
its length and breadth. Radius of each, each tennis ball is given. That is, radius is given. What is radius? 5 cm. If radius of a ball is 5 cm, what is diameter of a ball? Diameter is 2 times radius. That is 10 cm. So we have got for each ball its diameter is 10 cm. This is 10. So diameter of each ball is 10 cm. So here we have how many balls? 3 balls. So 10 plus 10 plus 10. So this is 30 cm. How many balls are fitting here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 50 centimeters. So dimension of a rectangular box we have got 30 centimeter by 50 centimeter. So answer is D. So you can see here the column there are three tennis balls are fitting so each tennis ball's diameter is 10 centimeter so this is 10 this is 10 this is 10 so we have got here 30 centimeters its breadth and here is also fitting 5 centimeters so this is 10 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 5 times 10 that means 50 centimeters. So that's for this dimension is 30 by 50 centimeters.